Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be covering my build for the main character in solo leveling. So these are the stats, and these are the equipment that I'm going to be using for this build. You guys are welcome to skip ahead if you already know how to get all of that. And the reason behind my stats is because I'm just hitting the minimum requirements for all the equipment that I'm going to be using, as well as 60 in Vigor, just so that I'm really tanky. Now, to cover my equipment, I'm going to be starting off with the Dark Moon Greatsword, which is supposed to mimic uh, the Demon King's Longsword. But to mimic its unique ability, I'm going to have to use the incantation, the Glaive. To mimic the ability of the Thunderstorm every time you swing it out. The next weapon that I'm going to be covering is the Kamish Daggers, and to mimic the Kamish Daggers, I'm going to be using the Gross Messer, plus 25 quality, and the Magma Blade, plus 10. To make the perfect replication of these, I'm going to have to use the Blood Flame Blade Incantation, as well as the Flame Grammy Strength, just to buff myself. The reason why I use curved swords instead is because Kamish daggers are actually longer than just regular daggers, so it's kind of perfect that I'm using these curved swords. And the Ash of War that I'm using for the Gross Messer is uh, Bloodhound Step. To kind of mimic um, the main character's ability and agility to kind of dodge around uh, circle around in fights. The last pair of weapons I'm going to be using are the Crystal Knife and the Black Knife. The Crystal Knife is supposed to mimic Baruka's dagger that the main character gets uh, when defeating the Ice Elves, and the Black Knife is supposed to mimic the Night Killer and its uh, armor piercing ability. The armor that I'm going to be using is the Malachis set for the chess piece. It kind of mimics um, the main character's endgame gear that he gets. Um, it's kind of like his shadow gear, so that's why it goes the best. The talismans I'm going to be using is the Urtree's Favor plus two, just so it can give us a little extra stamina and health. Uh, we're not really worried about the uh, weight limit here, so just for the uh, health and stamina. I found, as uh, I played with this build, I found myself struggling with uh, stamina, so I got the Green Turtle Talisman. That one's kind of a freebie spot, so you can switch that out with pretty much anything that you'd want. Alternative, you can probably just get the uh, Godskin Swaddling Cloth, just so that um, when you're making consecutive attacks, you can get a little bit of health back. And the next talisman I'm going to have is Millicent's Prosthesis because it gives you plus 5 in dexterity and making consecutive attacks makes you stronger. The last talisman is the Great Shield Talisman just so that we can have extra armor absorption. So now we're going through the incantations that I'm going to be having. The Glaive is supposed to supplement the the great sword and its ability to uh, thunderstorm. Dragon's claw is supposed to mimic ruler's authority, and the roar just to mimic dragon's fear. The most important part is to try to mimic his looks. I tried my best, but it might not be that good. Let's get a close up. Yeah, that's the best I could do. If you guys want the sliders, just let me know. So, with that being said, let's just get straight into the video. So, for our first fight here, we have Godric, fucking Monarch, uh, multiple arm jacking off King. Uh, after rolling around a bit, he got tired of my shit, so I gave him a glaive. He got mad at me, so he swung at me with one of his axes. But then I was tired of him too, so I gave him my arm, so maybe I can jack him up a little bit harder. I used my anime move, Black Blade, just for fun. After a quick 
quickly getting a repass. I failed to get it, so I just had to stab him a couple times. The baboon decided to cut off his own arm just so he could jack off with a bigger hand. So for our next fight, we decided to get Igris so we can finish our little mini army. And plus I'm going to be using summons quite often, so we're just going to have him right now. As you can already tell, I already hit him for a thousand points just the first hit, so this guy is already dead for sure. Igris is kind of shitty, so he's going to die. I decided to roar at him because I wanted to show my dominance. After slapping him a couple more times and then throwing my knife at him, I decided that he was already dead. For this next fight, I'm fighting a human now, so it should be pretty easy. I'm already buffing myself up, having myself up, using my long sword. Ignoring the fact that I got parried, I now decide to throw a beam of light at him, healing really quick, getting my Jesus juice on, and slapping him a couple more times. I decided I was a little tired of the shit, so I used the glaive and finished him off. Fighting Ronaldo next, uh, there's three ways that I can get to the Altus Plateau, either taking the Grand Lift or going through the Ruins. Another way I could be taken to the Altus Plateau is by getting taken by the Iron Virgin below the water wheel on the way to Ronaldo. <laughs> It's pretty easy, so all you have to do is fight off the toe fighters and then just keep stabbing her after she popped her bubble. After being tossed into her sex dungeon, me and Agris decided to team up on her. After throwing some hands at her, she decided to summon her own Icarus, so I got mad and I roared at her. She decided to summon a dragon, so I threw some more hands at her. For some reason, she just decided to summon the spirit bomb, so I quickly threw my dagger at her to finish her off. For this next fight, it's pretty easy. Uh, he decided to slowly walk at me, just like any other normal boss. For some reason, he's a spirit though. I already got him half health just by staring at him. But my moves are too clean, too quick, so my comms dagger is going to be disposed of. Main character and even some of your friends. I don't know. 
power of friendship. So I summoned Igris and I summoned Melina just to fight, help him fight it up. This fight, I didn't really didn't think I would have that much trouble, but I decided that I wanted to fully display this guy's abilities or this build's uh, capabilities. So I decided to use everything at my disposal. But if I wanted to end it quicker, I probably could just stick with Kamish daggers. And just finish it off sooner. This fight is probably one of my more favorite fights, just because of how chaotic this guy's abilities are. And the fact that you can summon other people just makes it more enjoyable. Giant. This one was pretty tedious to do, so I decided to skip a majority of it and just skip to the good parts where I just broke off his ankle and then he got him on the floor. Yeah, so this fight is pretty self explanatory. Next fight to fight off the foreskin duo, I decided to get my shadow army out and then we absolutely demolished these guys. Quickly buffed myself up, I decided that I was only gonna take them on because you know I'm the main protagonist so I don't wanna die.
next fight, I decided that I was having a lot more trouble than I was expecting, so I decided to get out the Black Knight Tish, just to help me out and just get through this uh, playthrough a lot quicker. All this was um, gameplay from my second playthrough on New Game Plus, so I had already gotten the armor from him uh, on my first playthrough. As you can see, like the TPS that I get from uh, the Comish Daggers and buffing myself with Flame of Strength and the uh, Black Flame Blade really ups my DPS to take this guy out. Also adding to the fact that I have Bloodhound Step, which allows me to quickly dodge all of this guy's, or a majority of this guy's attack, really helps out the fight. but it's really tedious as well because he can lower your magic resist with his staff's ability so majority of the fight you're just going to be dodging, rolling, trying not to get hit and interrupting his spell cast but overall this fight was pretty enjoyable as well just because it kind of gets you I decided to give him a quick teabag because he was such an annoying prick. And for this next fight, uh, we're going against the Elden Lord, so me and Acris decided to team up on this guy. Majority of this fight was pretty hard, um, just because of how frequently he stomped and roared, and his quick uh, axe movements. I really relied on my Bloodhound step when using the Kamash Daggers. I, I think that really helps with like maneuvering around him and dodging his uh despite the fact that somehow you can have lag experience with this guy, with his roar. Like that.
despite his damage output, I was still able to stay into the fight. This fight here, it really shows you how much DPS that you can get with these Kamish Daggers. Every time I swung, I hit him for at least 700 or 600. And I would be able to swing at him at least two times before his next attack. A lot of his attacks were pretty devastating, but not to the point where I wouldn't be able to heal back up. I think this is one of the better bosses to have fun soloing and not relying on any summons. For this next boss fight, it was pretty easy. Uh, the only thing about it was that he just keeps running away from you and throwing stars at you, so overall it was pretty pretty easy, but it was pretty tedious as well. I did enjoy the scenery that this boss room really gave you though. And just every time you you hit this guy, you smack this guy, he would just shine. It was great. coming to an end. So my overall experience with this build is that it's not very practical to use but it was pretty fun to play because of like how spread out my stats were just meeting the minimum requirements for each stat and just being able to barely use the weapons it didn't really show the dps that this build would really do if you're someone that would rather just use like one or two one or two of the uh pairs of weapons that was in the build you'd probably just minimize uh the stats and just maximize the stats that you want to utilize like the faith or you want to use strength or you want to use dex a few other comments that I would make about this build is that despite of how fun it was, it really got annoying for a couple boss fights like the Malekith fight or the Godric fight where they're just kind of too far for my daggers but I was able to reach with my other abilities. Going with this last boss, I think I decided that I'll probably make another build of another anime character or another manga An so fracture. I hope you guys enjoyed the video